Hello and welcome to another episode of Luxon Explained, the format for all tech enthusiasts, Luxon partners and those who would like to become one. Today is all about starting a project and how to plan it. Preparation is key when it comes to a successful project and easy programming. When planning a project, it is important to keep the following in mind. What needs to be in the building? Lighting, shading, what will the heating system look like? What do I want? An alerting system, access, do I want a night mode, audio? And how do I want to arrange the components within the building? Which components do I need and how do I set up the control cabinet? First of all, let's think about what kind of lighting we want in which places. Spots, accent lighting, indirect lighting using LED strips, do I want dimmable lighting for perfect illumination, colored lighting for night mode or light scenes and so on. In addition, each building has technologies for heating or cooling. One of the next steps is to establish what will be required to control these necessary technologies. With underfloor heating, for example, there are distributors, temperature sensors in the room and I may have to control a circulation pump or another technology. Shading is now electrically powered, so some actuators are required for the motors. Humidity and CO2 sensors are required for heat recovery. For the sake of clarity, we recommend to add show where each component should be on the floor plan of the building. Where do we want to install which lights, LED strips, presence detectors, buttons, window contacts, motors for the shading or heating heads and so on. The last step is planning the components and setting up the control cabinet. This step is extremely easy thanks to the Luxon config and the project planning tool. In the project planning tool, we simply create the required rooms and enter their parameters and then enter the components we have designed into the floor plan. We need all products related to lighting, shading, the touches, presence detectors, window contacts and everything to be in the right order. The advantage is that we don't have to worry about which components we need in the control cabinet because the project planning tool inserts the necessary extensions exactly after the selected components. The project planning tool also calculates the required power of the power supplies. At the end, we get a complete list of all the components that can be used to create an offer, clearly sorted by room or category, as well as an overview of the signed of the inputs and outputs. It is also important to know how much space is required. All components from the control cabinet are listed here with size. This way, we know exactly how big the control cabinet has to be. You see, it takes us less than a few minutes for the whole planning. You can create a cost estimate and you have all the information you need in one place. In addition, you can even have a file created for the Luxon config afterwards. That's from my side, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up and a subscription on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.